The deciding factor in this race could be those passionate newcomers, the first-time voters. Hey, Janice. Marty, I miss you. Um, okay, call me when you get back. You won't believe what's going on in Angel Square. So, Dorian, you and Amelia are Mrs. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Amelia is my partner. We did have a commitment ceremony yesterday, but it was more symbolic. Um, it's not legal, oh, actually. But it, it will be when Dorian wins the election. Her first act as mayor will be to legalize yesterday's marriages. Let's go vote, Aurelia. <clears throat> Would you please excuse us? Oh, thank you. Marco, I know you love your parents. He hasn't he hasn't voted yet. So Yes, indeed. And although I know they have their idiosyncratic predispositions, it's clear that they have raised a son who can think for himself. Bravo. That's me. Independent. You know how Rex and I are trying to get back on track? Yeah, ever since that sister of yours got herself pregnant. Well, she had help. <laughs> and uh, the more pregnant she gets, the more time Rex spends with her, and the more time I spend with Skylar. Uh-oh. It's not like that. I mean, at least it wasn't at first. We were friends, and, and, and we worked together. <sighs> Until last night. What? We kissed. Oh, JJ. I didn't mean to. I mean, I don't think I did. Uh, I, 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 that's just what I don't understand. How I can love Rex and still want to kiss Skylar. Well, my heart's a big place, honey. There's room for lots of people in there. But the bedroom, that's real small. Or at least it should be. Oh, wait, no, Skylar and I haven't gone anywhere near the bedroom. But that's what you're worried about, isn't it? Look, honey, Rex did a bad thing. Maybe you just needed to stir things up a little to get back at him. But, honey, love is like muffins. Don't stir too hard. The lumps are supposed to be there. Unless maybe you're done with Rex. Uh, I am going to have to face the guys at the station and my parents. You really think they tuned in to watch the group game? Commitment ceremony? Kyle, it made national news. There's absolutely no way they missed it. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's good. It's about time they, they know how amazing their son is. <laughs> I kissed you on national television. <laughs> I don't worry about it. They'll blame me. They already do. I'm the big corrupter, remember? Besides, isn't it kind of a, a relief now? I mean, it's 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 out there, it's it's over. You're out there. And, and look what you get. This is a great prize. True. Thank you for refusing to let me hide. Anytime. So, how does this work now? What do you mean? I mean, you and me. I, we're talking about a relationship, right? Yeah, I, I sure hope so. Because I have absolutely no idea how to do that. You know, I've never been in a, a real relationship with a man. Have you ever been in a real relationship with anyone? In the closet? You know, I've never even been on a date with a guy. Wow. Okay, well, uh, it's, it's really complicated. Okay, but here's step one. Would you like to go out with me? And, of course, if I hear anything at all about Jared, I will give you a call. Yeah, and I'll be glad to just get over to the polls where I can stop thinking about things that I can't do a thing about, at least for a little while. I can hardly wait to hear Dorian's concession speech. I mean, can you believe her claiming to be gay? I mean, excuse me, but I know for a fact that she's anything oh, but. Okay. Yeah, well, she's, uh, she's a complicated woman. <laughs> Not that complicated, trust me. Excuse me. John, come on in. Thank you. What's happening? Has anyone heard from Natalie? She left me a message a few days ago. Uh, and I talked to her yesterday for about a minute. Did she say where she was? No, she didn't. She just said that she was trying to dodge the reporters. Hmm. I know she's trying to dodge me. 
Why is that? She and Rex are chasing a lead. What kind of a lead? She didn't share that with me, but I think she's trying to find Jared before I do. Well, let's hope to God she does. Look, I checked out the whole place. There's nothing else to indicate that anybody has been here. I'm sorry. Natty, it's time to call the cops. Nadine, whatever's going on, I'll help you. Just untie me. I can't do that. Why not? Nadine! I need to call Jessica, please. That was, that was probably her on the phone. Just just untie me, I'll make the call, and then I'll help you with whatever trouble you're in. Just, just untie my hands, I can get my feet. Okay, come on, come on. What are you, Nadine? Rex, come on, I mean, can't, can't we just wait a couple more hours? I mean, there's gotta be a reason that we're all here. I'm sorry, this has gone on too far. Hello? Rex, is that you? Think we're in? Oh, thank God I reached you. Are you okay? You don't sound too good. Rex, I, I need to talk to you. It's important. Uh, okay, how about I call you back tonight? Rex, I'm sick. I, I didn't want to burden you, honey, but it's time for me to put my affairs in order. What are you talking about? Cancer. The doctors say I only have a few days left. God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I need to make things right. Before I die, I need to tell you who your father is.